I remember from the very beginning, we've been hoping to create a fine and influential place, not only in Hungary, but in the, in the whole world. And I think this is happening now. So I think this year is really a kind of a breakthrough. We've been planning it like, you know, little babies. We've been growing, growing, growing the idea. But I think we see the results. And I've been watching and to some extent participating in the development of the Institute. And I think that it has taken off. Uh, it's interesting that it should have done so because actually it's on the periphery of both Hungary and if you like Austria as well. It's away from Budapest, even slightly closer to Vienna. And this has been an advantage in as much as it gives, I ask, a certain autonomy. And I think what is interesting is that because of the drive uh, that um, we've seen in the Institute, um, it has attracted people from pretty much all over Europe and young people from or all over the world, as best as I can make out. So I think altogether it's, it's a successful enterprise, it's on a rising curve. And this is what defines a fine place, a place for communication, a place for building trust, a place for building understanding. This is what we need today in the world. I think the Institute, through its partnerships and a certain amount of its research, can tackle the global issues and the European issues with great competence. I think that's been demonstrated over the course of the past four years quite successfully. Um, I think in terms of making the lessons that it learns out of those studies applicable on the national and particularly the regional level uh, within Pannonia and Western Pannonia in particular, I think that is where it will deliver the highest degree of value. I would think that we're going to build on what we've achieved already. I would certainly like to see more publishing work. Electronic publishing is quite sufficient. Putting everything on the internet, I mean, like the discussions that we've been having is of enormous significance because people can look back at it and think about it and shout at it if they want. Because it's outside Budapest and the particular people who are involved, there's a flexibility which I don't really see in the, Bud in the Budapest equivalents. Um, so there are some advantages to being outside the mainstream and I think that, you know, I ask is, is doing very well in this respect.